Okay, so I'm here to explain what happens when the sun goes into the eighth house in your birth chart. So what is the eighth house? The eighth house is originally ruled by Mars and Scorpio. The eighth house deals with sex, death, taboo, you know, the cult and inheritances and your spouse's family. Um, the reason it deals with sex and death is because those are sort of taboo subjects, you know, at least maybe back in ancient olden times and stuff they were sort of taboo subjects they're a little bit more out in the open nowadays in this world in this society uh, but other than that you know sex wasn't really shown on television and people to this day are still scared to face and talk about death and things like astrology and tarot and all that stuff those are considered hidden taboos hidden taboo knowledge um, Things like sex and the cult and astrology and all this stuff, these are things that are hidden that you can only find when you go decide to go seek them out for yourself. You're not going to learn this type of stuff in school. You got to go seek this out on YouTube and on the internet and through books and stuff. Um, death and inheritance is, you know, you inherit money and wealth sometimes through death. If you was left in a will or something. And that's essentially what the eighth house is. So what is the sun? The sun is a planetary body that represents our father. It represents our ego, our soul. Um, it's one of the major important positions that represents our personality. Uh, it illuminates and brightens the qualities and traits of the house it sits in. But also since this is a hot planetary body it also burns and damages the house that it sits in so when the sun goes into the eighth house one thing that we can see is that this person might be introverted because the fourth eighth and twelfth houses are moksha houses these are sort of private houses hidden houses um, moksha as I've stated before a little bit in some of my videos you know, it just means liberation, separation, enlightenment. All the water houses are considered houses of, you know, like where you can experience maybe freedom and enlightenment and liberation. You know, um, the eighth house is also sort of like also like a house known as known as like a secrets and stuff, which makes sense as I've told you before. But yeah, the sun in the eighth house. An individual might be introverted, but they mainly might keep one major, major thing that you might see with someone who has son in the eighth house is that they'll keep their personality, their identity, a uh, secret from their family. Because opposite of the eighth house is the second house. And the second house represents the type of family that you came from and represents your financial wealth. And the eighth house represents your spouse's family, his in laws. So, you know, son being in the eighth house you would maybe feel as though you can't be so expressive or reveal and show who you are to your family because your son is sitting in the eighth so you would be someone who would be interested in astrology and tarot and all these taboo weird hidden things that might be frowned upon on society you'll be into that stuff but you would Keep it a secret, possibly. You would keep it hidden from your family, like most people do. But we would really see it more so as someone who has son in, in the eighth house. Um, another thing with son in the eighth house, you would feel so you could probably be more expressive and be yourself more with your spouse's family versus, versus the family that you came from, you know. So you might feel as though you might just be able to be yourself with your spouse's family or you might just get along better with them but really we would see that more so from aspects and if the sun is sitting with any other planets so it's either you could get along with them or you might just your personality would just come out more with your in-laws and depending on your personality depending on your in-laws maybe it won't be good and may, yeah maybe y'all get along maybe y'all won't get along but you will become reveal more yourself Possibly through your in-laws and stuff. Another thing we see since 
the house, since the sun is like this light bulb, this huge light bulb, and the eighth house is a house of secrets, possibly, you would possibly be someone who is very good at finding out maybe the secrets that either your partner might be hot having and hiding against you or you just be someone who is capable of just you know be able to find and reveal the secrets and shed light on secrets and things that you know maybe close friends or just people or enemies in general might have against you you probably be someone who's very good at finding and revealing that stuff but um that's essentially it that's essentially what happens when you have the sun in the eighth house in your uh birth chart like i said you'd be interested naturally in the occult and sex and death and taboo things you would keep your personality sort of introverted and secretive and hidden from the family that you came from you might get along better with the spouse's family or just feel like you can express yourself and be yourself more with the spouse's family depending on the aspects and the sign that your son is in and you probably be someone who is probably real good at naturally finding out and discovering the secrets that other people might be holding um against you you probably feel as though that you can find yourself through maybe indulging in sex find yourself through you know learning these occult occultic hidden taboo like things and yeah that's all i have to say hope this gave you great insight and clarity with respect on what happens when you have sun in the eighth house in your birth chart thanks for watching